Boom! Let's talk Cat Williams, shall we? So Cat Williams went on an onslaught of hitting every comedian up that's done him wrong. And I gotta admit, he brought receipts, but he's been doing this for a minute like this, right? But it's like he was waiting, man. He was waiting. He was waiting because, see, like these other people have been talking real slick about Cat actually the past few years. And he dropped a lot of names in this shit, you understand? As you see everyone in this picture, he was going in on all these people, you understand? All of them. And I mean, what he said in there is 100% accurate, man. Now, see, what I don't like, I don't like people who uh, want to just try to find a reason just to find something wrong within what he said. And yeah, do I believe he read 3,000 books a year between the ages of 7 to 12 or wherever it was? Nah, nah, I don't believe that shit. But I believe that everything he was talking about with the comedy game or just how people are acting in this year of being exposed and truth. Cat Williams hit these niggas up real heavy, son. And just about all these people responded in some kind of way. Ricky Smiley up here crying and shit. But what I'm saying is, notice how ain't nobody suing him for defamation or nothing. That's because these Negroes know it's the truth. So since he dropped all that on that Shannon Sharp show, there's been a lot of niggas explaining. This Negro is the king. Of feeling some kind of way right now. What do you say? A fat, funky, Faison lie or some shit? Man, that shit was hilarious. But Faison Love been taking L's on the internet like, yo, son, you, you done. You, nigga, you are not responding well at all. And they eating his ass up in the comments. Ludacris start rapping about the nigga. Luda, your response was trash. You ain't even address none of the shit he said, man. You just rapping. <laughs> Trick daddy ass mad because some that us, uh, you know, what I mean, he threw in there. And what he said on, on his uh tour that he's on right now, man, he was slicing Trick Daddy's ass up. I'm waiting to see if Steve Harvey say anything. I mean, I think at the end of the day, man, Cat Williams exposed a lot about the industry that's been going down. So if you ain't up to speed, I don't know what to tell you, but ain't nobody. Refuting any of these things he's saying, they are deflecting and niggas explaining to the fullest. Y'all gotta understand, Cat Williams funds all his projects, man, all his performance. So he's coming out with cash, hand over fist, which is some of the most bullshit ever. Thank you, Cat, for setting the internet on fire, breaking the internet, and setting this 2024 off nice. <laughs>